before starting assembly, workers put qualified cells into the conveyor belt, and the cells follow the conveyor belt to the OCV testing equipment. OCV is an important characteristic physical quantity of the battery under static conditions. Therefore, the OCV test has become a way to measure the health of the battery. For cells that pass the OCV test, the tabs are cut along with the movement of the conveyor belt, and the positive and negative tabs are cut to the optimal size, 14 mm, suitable for welding. After the tabs are cut and shaped, and then the manipulator transports the cells to another conveyor belt, and the conveyor belt sends the cells to the workers, who stack the cells. Workers stack the cells according to the designed positive and negative directions to form a module. When stacking, the cells need to be aligned on both sides of the module. Alignment mechanisms are required on both sides, and the tolerance of the side plane is less than or equal to half a millimeter. The stacked modules are transported by the manipulator to the next conveyor belt, and then the workers install the tap brackets. Install the PCB board between the tabs in the correct direction, and then continue to transfer the module, and the tabs will be bent soon. Bend the tab close to the aluminum row of the PCB to prepare for the subsequent laser welding. After the tab is rolled flat, the module is sent to the tab welding room for laser welding. Welding not only must ensure the reliable connection between the lug and the pole, but also requires smooth and beautiful weld seam. The manipulator transfers the welded modules to the workbench. An assembled module is born, 